What's going on everyone? So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the trades that I took on June 4th. I ended up taking four trades. The tickers that I traded were Docu and Tesla. And overall, it was not the most exciting day. But when I think about playing defense and trying to be very careful and cautious when approaching the market, I think I did a good job. And that's why I think this is gonna be a good video. And like always, I'm gonna get into the technicals of all the names and then go into the trades. So to start with SPY, it had the gap down yesterday, gap down right into the 20 SMA. It got bought back up. So coming in this morning, some of the levels that I was looking at just to try to get short-term direction on what the market may do is prior days low. If it took that out, it does feel like there was some downside room. That level was 416.28. And then prior days high, which it was trading above in the pre-market, 419.99 gets above that. It feels like it can make its way to a new all-time high, which was not too far away above at 422.82. Okay, now getting into the queues. Funny enough, had the gap down right into the 20 SMA as well. Got bought back up, but that candle is not the best looking candle. It's kind of jammed in between a lot of the short-term moving averages. So the levels that I was looking at was prior days high, 331.86. If it gets above that, Yes, there's a lot of resistance above, but in order to go higher, it first has to take out a prior day's high. So just knowing where that was, and if for some reason there was weakness in the market and it started to roll over, prior day's low, 328.28. And if it took that out, it did look like there was some downside room. And now to get into the watch list. So to be honest, I was not a fan of much this morning. I'm trying to do my best to add a little bit more to the list. The meme stocks are a little crazy, so I just avoided them. But this Doku, I really liked it. And the reason why is because it was gapping above this prior pivot resistance area at 204.29. And it had a nice move in the pre-market. So I thought just because this is a momentum name, maybe it has a chance to get going. Where it goes to, I have absolutely no idea. But I was making sure to know where the 200 SMA on the daily was. And it was at 221.30. So that was a level of, could it get there? I have no idea but just wanted to make sure I had it marked on my chart. And then one of the main technical levels that I was interested in trading around was pre-market high, which it made almost before market open. So I always make sure that I quickly check and I will adjust those levels if they change a minute or two before the open and that level 210.45. And now getting into Tesla. So that prior day candle, pretty nasty, lost a lot of the moving averages. It is down four days in a row, so just keeping that in mind. But like always, the levels I was interested in trading around was pre-market high, 584.50, pre-market low, 575.15, prior day low, 571.21. And if it took that out, it did have a downside gap at 566.21. Was it gonna fill it today? No idea, but just knowing that it was there. Okay, so the first trade that I took was on Tesla, so off the open. Had a one minute candle that closed red. It did take that out. So it was a very quick one minute opening range break to the upside. A little too fast for me. So I just wanted to wait. Had a very nice push above 9 EMA, above the VWAP. Started to pull back. I like that it came back to both of those. And now it's starting to move its way back to high. So this is a flag pattern. 585.25 is the high of day. I want to try to be long right around 585. To be honest, I think I could have done a better job getting a little bit more of an aggressive entry here, maybe even 584, 584.50, but overall, I think the entry was still okay. I ended up getting long, anticipating the high of day break, so I got long five call contracts right at the money, the 585s. I got filled at $5.93, and now I just wanna see this takeout high and start to speed up. And here's a funny thing about options. So I ended up getting a pretty nice move, very quick. If you look at the option contracts, I'm up at one point almost about $500 because they moved about a dollar. And I was trying to give this just another really quick amount of time to see if it had one more move higher. And especially on a Friday, trading same day expiration, this is where the premiums can get drained so fast. So had that quick move, very fast, starts to pull back in. And as this shows some weakness, I end up getting out of the trade just to be safe. And because it being Friday and that pullback happened very fast, I basically got out of that trade for flat. So I was up almost 500 and that quick pullback drained all of the profit and ended up being flat on it. And here's where I take the second trade. So Tesla has had a nice upside move. I ended up getting out on this quick pullback, but it's still above the nine. It's above VWAP. 
This does look like another nice flag pattern. High of day is at 586.99. I end up getting long right here, five contracts, anticipating that high of day break, and I got filled at 557. It pulled back a little bit, but nothing too crazy. It's now getting back up to that high of day, and right there, it breaks very quick, and I wanna see if this can go a little bit further. Knowing that I'm now in the money on the options, I do not wanna let this trade go red, so I do get the very quick pop, and then it pulls back in. I did not like that topping tail right there. That candle had that push and then instantly pulled back in. So just to be safe, I made sure to get out of the position and I got a very small win on the trade. So those were some nice looking flag patterns in my opinion, but when they go through and then they instantly pull back, I'm always gonna make sure to just get out of the trade because there has been plenty of times where I don't get out quick on that pullback and it leads to something much worse. And just to make sure I'm playing good defense, I want to get out because I can always reevaluate the trade and get back in. I know had I held it, it would have worked out, but I'm making sure to just not do that because we all know it only takes the one time where you hold it and it doesn't work out to take a huge loss. And the third trade is going to be a good example of a flag stuffing pretty quick and going against me. So right now, handful of minutes consolidation above the 9 EMA, anticipating that flag break right around 588. I end up going long three call contracts. I size down a bit, the 590 calls. I got filled at 479 and I wanted to see this go pretty fast. I could have done a good job at getting out right here when it started to show some weakness and this next one minute candle. This is what Tesla can be known for at times. When you're wrong, it can be wrong very quick and those yanks happen incredibly fast. So I went for it, pulled back very fast. So now in my mind, I'm thinking this could possibly be something worse. So on any sort of bounce, I wanna make sure to just get out of this trade. So it pulled back pretty hard into 586, found some short-term support. It now has the bounce that I was looking for. It's having some clear trouble right around 587. And when it shows some weakness, I make sure to just get out of the trade in case it wants to roll back over and I don't want that loss to get any bigger. Okay, so here's the fourth and final trade that I take on Docu. The only downside with this trade is looking at this now is it was a little extended and the volume is not that great but I still wanted to give it a chance. It looked all right. It has clear momentum at its back and I end up taking shares because the option spreads weren't great. So I ended up going long 200 shares. I got filled at 221.80 and if it took out the high a day, I thought it had some upside room. It pulls back a little bit, but I'm thinking it's above the nine EMA. It's above VWAP. It's very strong. It did have about 10 minutes of consolidation there. So the likelihood of it going higher is high, but still I wanna make sure to be careful. If it cannot hold that 221 area, I need to make sure to just get out of this trade. So it kind of hangs right around 221 for a couple minutes, but just looking at the time and sales and the very bottom, the volume, it's not very high. So it's just moving slow and it, the spreads can open up a little bit at times. So when I'm looking at this, I'm realizing that I think that this is just a stock that at this moment is not the best opportunity to trade, but I'm in it, so I'm trying to manage it well. And it continues to hold that 221 area, which was clear resistance. And as long as it holds above that, I do feel good about it going higher. And then I just gotta make sure that any move higher at this point, I need to just take profits. And if it starts to roll over pretty quick, I just need to get out of this trade. So it's still holding up all right, not moving very fast. High of day is 222.22. And I just wanna see this get through the whole number 222, clear the high of day, which it did right there, and then start to speed up. So now I'm in the money. I do not want to let this position go red. And now that it just made a new high, I wanted to give it a chance to run to see how far it can go because it definitely caught some momentum. Had that push into 223, starting to show a little bit of trouble. It's also not moving very fast and the spreads tend to widen up at times. So just knowing that the volume is a little lower and that spread can get pretty nasty, any sort of weakness, I need to just bail on this. And as it starts to pull back right here and comes back towards that 222 area, I make sure to just get out of it for a very small win. So at this point, it's 30 minutes into the day. I've taken four trades, which I feel like is the higher end of the amount of trades that I like to take. I'm a big fan of that one to three. When I start to get close to five, I know that it's time for me to back off. I feel like the setups that I took were all right. There just was not that much follow through. Funny enough, had I taken that very quick move on that first Tesla trade, I would have been up right around $500 on the day and that could have been a nice one and done, but that just goes to show the volatility of options, especially trading them same week on a Friday. That's just how it goes. So knowing that I took the chances, 30 minutes into the day, four trades, I just don't have a lot going in my favor at the moment. I know that it's time for me to call it a day. 
So now let's look at the portfolio. Ended up making $83 on Docu, $63 on the 58750 calls, $28 on the 585 calls, and unfortunately had a decent sized loss on the 590 calls. And after all those trades, ended up minus $9 on the day, so flat. I feel like in the recent market lately, this is a lot of days, slightly green, slightly red, or basically dead flat. And I'm just trying my best to accept that and not burn too much mental capital. So that was the trade recap. I appreciate you watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.